Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here on this slightly chilly, slightly overcast day, but we are still celebrating this day because we are so excited to talk about the launch of Sidewalks for Precinct 4, heralded by Precinct 4 Commissioner Leslie Briones. My name is Sion Rhodes. I have the honor of serving as Press Secretary for Harris County Precinct 4, and the order of speakers will be as follows. We will first hear from Commissioner Leslie Briones, followed by by Marie Arcos, Chief Government Affairs Officer of the YMCA of Greater Houston, followed by Dr. Anthony Mays, ALEAF ISD Superintendent, followed by Guillermo Palacios of Kerr High School, followed by Angelina Velez, ALEAF Taylor High School. And then closing remarks from Commissioner Briones and questions and answers after that. And with that, it's my great honor to introduce to you your Precinct 4 Commissioner, Leslie Briones. Good morning, everyone. My team and I are so thrilled to be here, and I am grateful to be serving as your Harris County Commissioner for Precinct 4. Thank you for joining us. Please, please take a seat. I see some of the MVPs are, are not wanting. Come, please, please join. This is a celebration of you. First, I want to say thank you to all of our partners. Marie Arcos, Thank you for the YMCA of Greater Houston's partnership. We appreciate you and your team so very much. We will hear from Marie momentarily. Please join me in thanking our amazing ALEAF ISD Superintendent, Dr. Anthony Mays. And we are joined by several of our trustees. We have our trustee and Madam President Darlene Boudreau, thank you, Burrow, pardon me. And we have our trustee, Rick Moreno, here as well. And we have our chief of police, ALEAF ISD, Dan Turner. And can we also give it up for all of the other ALEAF ISD law enforcement officers who are with us today? We have some phenomenal students, and on behalf of Guillermo Palacios, Angelina Veliz, we are so excited to hear from you, and they represent our students from ALEAF ISD Kerr High School, as well as ALEAF Taylor High School. So let's hear it for our students. The MVPs I was referring to are the Harris County Precinct 4 infrastructure, road and bridge team members. Can you please raise your hand if you were a part of making these sidewalks happen? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. We are so grateful for your heart hustle and higher standards. And we've been hearing from constituents. Not only are they so happy to have these sidewalks, but just how fast you're able to get things done. So we're trying to reorient what government can do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And all of the other Harris County Precinct 4 team members, would you please raise your hand? It is an honor to work alongside you. Thank you for your service. And the Harris County Engineering Department, we couldn't do it without them. So thank you if you're here from the Harris County Engineering Department and our Harris County Engineer, Dr. Milton Rahman, we're so grateful for your partnership. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The reason I'm so happy to be here today, the truth is it's more from the former teacher in me. I love ALEAF ISD deeply. I love ALEAF deeply. It reminds me of home. I used to be an eighth and 10th grade teacher and many of my students walked to school and they did not have safe sidewalks. So every day at some level, they were putting their lives and their futures in jeopardy just to get to school. Meanwhile, many of their parents had to walk to a nearby or far away bus stop because that was the only mode of transportation they had to get to work. And so when I was given this opportunity to serve as your commissioner, making sure that all of our families, especially our working families, have the ability to safely get to school, to work, to their place of worship, is of fundamental importance. And I'm so thankful for our infrastructure and planning team that designed this sidewalks for precinct four. We're leaning into the four, right? You have, we have to, sidewalks for precinct four. We are in going to invest $20 million, $20 million in sidewalks 
across Precinct 4. We are just getting started and we're so happy to be starting here in Aleph ISD. Safety is our number one priority. We see sidewalks, and my husband was teasing me. He's like, you are getting so excited about sidewalks. It's a sidewalk. And I'm like, it's not just a sidewalk. Sidewalks are connections. Sidewalks deliver safety. Sidewalks deliver a pathway to connect to the economic opportunity. There's 130 different businesses in this surrounding area that now the community can more safely get to. So the economic impact, the educational impact, the safety impact, to me that is what it's about. And fundamentally what moves me is community. And I see sidewalks, thank you Sian, as a place of connectivity. They connect us to each other. They connect us to places. And so that's why I'm so grateful to my team for helping to deliver this in partnership with ALEAF ISD, the YMCA, and other local partners. And we will continue to double down. I'll end with a few examples of just some of the work that we've been able to start in partnership together in ALEAF. We are all in. One is a $2 million investment, thanks to President Biden and the Biden administration in ALEAF for safe communities. It's called the SEPTED program. So with lighting, additional sidewalks, green space, we will be investing those $2 million here in ALEAF. Also in partnership with the Houston Parks Board, there's a $1.85 million investment in an ALEAF hike and bike trail. So we're very thankful for that partnership. So thank you. We also, Precinct 4, we're working on an over $6 million project with Metro to create 200 new bus shelters that are inclusive of all ages and all abilities that give the cooling and the refuge from our heat island effect, which we experience deeply here in Aleaf. So many of those bus shelters will be in the Aleaf area. That's another example of our commitment to this area. And lastly, our West Park Tollway feasibility study. We know that West Park Tollway is more like a West Park parking lot. And so we have launched the feasibility study in partnership with Metro, City of Houston, Toll Road Authority, Fort Bend County, so that we can increase the options and so that families can again get to work get to school and get home more safely and more quickly. So stay tuned, that will be a multi-year effort. Meanwhile, we've been applying and we got some good news about some federal funds reconnect communities because we know that the West Park Tollway has bifurcated our beloved Aleaf for many years. So we wanna be creative in how we think of connecting both sides of the tollway using art, architecture, lighting, and celebrating the beautiful diversity that is Aleaf. So with that, again, thank you so very much. We appreciate you being here, and it is with great honor that I am introducing next Marie Arcos. She is the Chief Government Affairs Officer for the YMCA of Greater Houston. Marie? Thank you, Commissioner Briones, and for everyone that is here today. Just like to say that the YMCA serves Greater Houston area by building healthier families, empowering youth, and fostering inclusive communities. At the Y, we ensure that all residents and people have the opportunity to learn, grow, grow and thrive. We also pride on ourselves on being a connector of bridges for people to connect with services and other businesses around the Greater Houston area. The Ailey Family YMCA, where you're at today, has been transformed more recently to not only be a space to create healthier lifestyles and motivate people, but also to be a place to restore hope and provide supportive services for our immigrants, refugees, and vulnerable populations in the surrounding Houston area that come to this YMCA building for services through our YMCA International Services team. The initiative here will have positive impacts in terms of accessibility and safety for the residents, the clients, and members that come to the YMCA. And we're super proud to have been partnering with Commissioner Briones and her team since the, her taking office in addressing those issues that are most critical to this area as in public safety. She has garnered 
the community, local nonprofits, law enforcement, businesses who have been working in this community before she was elected, and she has used their input to help guide her in creating positive and powerful solutions like you're seeing today that would truly impact what's happening for this particular community. And so I applaud her efforts. It's time consuming. It takes a lot of her team's efforts to make sure that she can help foster and, and engage the folks that can help provide the input most necessary to represent her constituents. And that is something that we don't often see. I'll speak firsthand really quickly on the warming center from our more recent freeze. Uh, Commissioner Briones had two warming centers in her precinct and the YMCA was one of them. I was able to be here with our team here. We were here for almost 36 hours straight. And as the folks that came in that did not have access to be safe and warm during those freeze, uh, those three days of freeze, they were able to come here and seek refuge. But what we saw more importantly were those most vulnerable folks that live and reside in this community. And the hardest thing for our staff to do was to turn the folks back away that were unhoused or experiencing homelessness. And our biggest concern was where were they going to go? I had to be told that we just had to let them go from where they came from. But I know that we're going to work with her team more proactively to make sure that we're addressing the needs of our homeless and our vulnerable populations to make sure that they have the resources that it can be better than for them to go back where they came from. And these sidewalks, as we learned and knew from the firsthand conversations we had the folks living here, their only mode of transportation is walking and public transportation. So we know that the sidewalks are more than sidewalks, more than concrete. They are pathways to helping people lead better lives here in Precinct 4. So thank you again, Commissioner Briones, for allowing the YMCA to be part of today's celebration. And we look forward to partnering with you in the years to come and making better strides for this community. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Anthony Mays, our ALEAF ISD Superintendent. So to my, my students uh, and those sitting in the audience, uh, this is what voting should get you. You know, I want to pause for a minute just to recognize that that is the importance of voting. I had a chance to talk to uh, an individual a moment ago about registering our students to vote. But again, this is the power of you getting uh, elected officials that truly lead with heart and position to support the needs of the community. And so uh, I want to say again, thank you to Commissioner Briones, uh, when she hit the ground as she was elected, we talked about a, a litany of things that were needed here in A-Leave to support, uh, again, just strengthening our community and making it safe. People take uh, some of the ditches that our students have to walk, to, walk through to get to and from uh, the school for granted. We don't. We have over 40,000 students that our trustees and I are responsible for uh, making sure that they get to and from campus safely. These sidewalks are critical to making that happen. And so, again, we thank you for Commissioner Briones and uh, the Precinct 4 team for making it a priority. Guillermo is going to talk to you all in a few minutes, but they skateboard and they walk to these schools uh, and to these stores and to these businesses. And the last thing that we want to ever have happen is to witness a tragedy where a student is ever hit by a car or injured by a, a passing motorist. And so, again, we don't take this uh, investment lightly, and we do want to make sure that uh, on behalf of A-Leaf students and parents that we let again Commissioner Briones know that we appreciate you being a good steward of the public dollar and taking care of the thing that we believe is most vital in the A-Leaf ISD students. So again thank you all for coming out. Thank you Commissioner Briones. Thank you to our trustees. And again I'm going to turn it over to Guillermo to talk to you all about how important uh, these needs are. Um, uh, thank you Superintendent. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming. I, of course, uh, I'm glad that they're building sidewalks, you know. Uh, I feel like it's super face, uh, safe, I'm sorry. Um, it's super safe. Uh, I go home, I walk, and I, I was scared at first. I actually ride my skateboard too, sometimes. Um, and once there was this time I was riding my skateboard and I was going through the YMCA, right? But there wasn't a sidewalk. And I actually stumbled across a pebble. I didn't see it. And I fell on my skateboard and a car was backing out. And I, it almost hit me, but it didn't hit me gladly. I'm still here. <laughs> um, 
but yeah and uh yesterday i was i actually saw the sidewalks they weren't there during the spring break and i saw them and i was like so thankful that i'm able to have a connection from my home to uh kerr kerr high school that is an easy straight path uh it's clear to me that i know there's a sidewalk that i know that i can walk in i know that i can hide my skateboard i also have a bike I heard that there was going to be more bike lanes, so hopefully I can see bike lanes so I can ride around, you know, the streets and have fun, you know. And that would be all. I would have to. Uh, I would give give it to Angelina now. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. I'm Angelina. I'm Angelina. Um, what a great morning. Um, so I would like to talk about how the sidewalks would um, help us from getting prevent from getting hurt or injured. Um, I really think that the sidewalks would help us because um, I walk from school, I walk from school and back from home, and um, I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Talk. All right. There you go. Just talk just like you were just talking to me a few minutes ago. Okay. There you go. Um, I really think it's um, it's a good help for us kids because um, many many parents really care for their kids as much as um, I care for my siblings, and um, I really think that you know it helps the environment look way better because. Without the sidewalks, it, we're going to be walking in the streets and we'll possibly be run over. And without the sidewalks, the grass is going to be wet, my shoes are going to get muddy, and mind you, I wear sandals. So, <laughs> I wear sandals. So, I'm going to be walking with my socks wet. So, yeah, I really think that this, the sidewalk thing is like a big, a big good thing for our community. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Can you please give it up for Angelina and Guillermo? Woo! That was amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, thank you to all of the partners. And at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. Making sure that all of our families have a fair shot, that all of our families are safe, and that all of our families can thrive. And we are so grateful to be working in partnership with you all. And we look forward to many more years of continuing to make a leaf and all parts of Precinct 4 as safe and as prosperous as they can be. So we're so grateful. So let's one last cheer for Ailey ISD and our students. Woo! You inspire us and we owe it to them. So thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you to all of our speakers and to our guests. Are there any questions from the press? Thank you so much, sir. With that, we will conclude this event. Thank you so much for coming and have a great day.